Auburn Tigers take on the Ole Miss Rebels. This is going to be a terrific matchup. Hi there, everyone. We're here at Cat Smith Coliseum. I'm Vern Lundquist here with Bill Raffley and Tracy Wilson. What's your take on this, Bill? It is a terrific matchup at the small forward position. Carroll is an excellent small forward. He's got tremendous hops, and I'm sure it won't be long before we see him send it in with reckless abandon. Hoskins is also one of the top small forwards in the country. He is a potent finisher inside. When he sniffs the hoop, look out. Both looking to lead their teams to a win. We'll see who succeeds. This is it to the elbow. Hurley. Huskin shoots the three. Hurley yanks it down inside. That was a much quicker shot than they might have liked, but it was a pretty open look, so it's tough to fault him. Harney catches it, left side, throws it up, left inside, right box. Terrific rebound. That's how you went into position on the offensive class. Brunson. Harney puts it up. Swiffer pulls it in. And it's still all mudded up. Huskin beats it across court. Harney grabs the rebound inside. Let's check in with our sideline reporter, Tracy Wolfson, who has some info for us. Just before the game, I caught up with the Rebels coach. He told me he's aware of the offensive reputation this opponent has, but said, as creative as they are with the ball, I think we can be just as inventive defensively, and we'll have a few surprises in store for them today. Right? Thank you, Tracy. Missed by the last three by Carroll. Ole Miss is going to have to work hard to establish some chemistry, Vern, and quickly. Because this is a young lineup that hasn't played with each other very long. Auburn really knows how to put the ball in the basket. They have a great offensive mindset and can put points up in a hurry. Bounces it to the left side. Brunson catches it outright. Let's it go. Couldn't take the lead there. Missed by McCray. Oh, the big fellow with a tough rebound. No denying him on that one. Pass. Left wing. Hurley. Has it. Out left. Yeah, didn't get that rebound by accident. He knew right where to be. Second to fall as well. Brunson inbounds the ball. About 12 and a half minutes left in the half. Brunson dumps it off. McCray fires the three. Zwick rips it down. They've got to learn to be patient on offense. Good shots will come if you don't rush them. Burley. Skips it to the left. Here comes the double team. From downtown. Snatched down by Brunson. Belser brings it up. Brunson did a good job to grab that rebound. Perfect position that time. Pulls the trigger. Can't get the jumper to fall. They're still down six. Passes. Outright. Huskin puts up the throw. Gets the bucket. 
They lead 7-0. to zero. Just over 11 minutes left in the half. There's no question what kind of defense they're in, Vern. Man, man. Belser. Gets it on the elbow. Carney beats it to the right wing. Errant last shot by Belser. Leads him with the pass. Shoots it. The jumper was buried by Hoskins. They push the lead to nine. Carney inbounds the ball. The Rebels will try to put a stop to this run. Shannon to make his first stand off the bench. I'm on the wing, I'm on the wing. Dishes it to the top of the key. Carney passes it back to the high post. Carroll has it right wing. Lead pass, baseline. It's stolen by Gill. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep and then capitalize. Just over 10 minutes left in the half. By yourself, by yourself. McCray. Catches it, down low. Last basket on the mark by Carney. A dynamite bounce pass. The D never saw it coming. Saw it going, though, right into the net. Early dumps it to the inside. Can't convert. But will go to the line for two. It's a nine-point spread. <laughs> Left wing. By yourself, by yourself. Carney. Start the game, Vern. They're already forcing themselves into a catch up mode. He makes the first. Back. Checks in for the first time. Gets them both. Brunson inbounds the ball. Just over nine minutes left in the half. They're getting set to inbound the ball. Watch left, watch left. I got the three. Here's the trap. Pass, right block. Stay winning, stay winning. Spread, spread it out. McClintock. For three. Gill keeps it alive on the offensive end. Finished nicely down low on that last shot. Pound it, pound it, and pound it some more. Obviously, that's been the key to building this big lead early on. And it's scooped up by Gill. Shannon passes it up court. Early. I like how he gets himself into defensive position. At the right place, at the right time yet again. By 15. They're going to double team him. Mm. 
Belser passes to the right. Right wing. Belser tosses it up. It's in for three. But they're still down by 12. Hurley. Behind the arc. No good by Shannon. But they're still up by 12. About seven and a half minutes left in the half. Brunson has it outright. Brunson. What you gonna do? Stop! And they pull a foul. Shooting two. He can't get the first. Both teams are making a few lineup changes. Good on number two. Shannon inbounds the ball. Uses the crossover. McClintock for three. Carney corrals the miss. The Rebels can trim the lead to single digits. Last shot laid in by Victor. Beautiful improvisation. He pulled that out of his bag of tricks. McClintock, way up court. To the elbow, with the shot. Caught down inside by McBride. Gotta love how he ripped down the offensive board and finished the play. That's hustle. Ole Miss is really struggling. Well, it looks like they're getting set to inbound the ball. Carney inbounds the ball. Lead pass to the middle. The steal by McBride. That wasn't much of a look. You could see that one coming before he released it. Shannon. Backs in. McBride. 14 feet out. Got it. And they're now out in front by 13. Under six minutes left in the half. Right, right, right. You know what kind of defense they're in, don't you, Vern? Man, man. Up, Launches one from beyond the arc. Made by Victor. And they're now behind by 10. Takes the shot. Can't return the favor with his own three. Still a 10-point lead. Brunson catches it in the paint. No good on the last shot by Carney. A little sloppy on the release. You're right. Just a little, but it cost him there. Shannon unloads. Misses the three-pointer. But they still lead by 10. Right side. Skips it to the top of the key. Launches it. Grab by Burley. The D wasn't too worried about that one. Gave him room to get it off. Mainly because they put on a long three over him driving it in. Can't sink the first. Both teams will make some substitutions. from the line. Ole Miss is really struggling.
Harold. Dangerous pass. The shot bounce up and in. Soft cut by Carroll. He's got two. Shannon inbounds the ball. He put down that offensive board like it was no problem. What a battler. They're up 23 to 13. Victor catches it on the low block. Fast hands it off. Gill has it, and that's his fourth rebound thus far. Usually, if he gets any sort of room, he nails it. With all the defense, I don't let him get another chance from there. About three and a half minutes left in the half. Victor bounces it to the left side. Sizing up his man. Outright. Carney. Baseline jumper. Gill pulls it in. Carney is having a hard time getting his shot to go, Vern. You just hope it doesn't wreck his confidence. But it's hard to see how it would. His first shot of the game. Rebounded inside by Carroll. Victor brings it up there. He tried to sneak it in over the trees and just missed. That's when you want to play inside out. Locate the open man on the Passes to the wing. Shannon fires. Clearly fouled on the shot. And that will get him three shots at the line. He misses the first. is needed out on the floor. He didn't get much of a rest. Minter inbounds the ball. 2.51 left in the first half. McCray beats it to the elbow. Carroll has it. Baseline. Dishes. Baseline. McCray dumps it off. Bass has it. Right wing. The wing shot knocked down by Carroll. They make it a single digit game. Ole Miss is really struggling. Such great instincts. He knew exactly where the ball was going. Out left. Passes to the baseline. Takes it up. Curry throws it in off the glass. He attacked it with everything he had, but it still wasn't enough. Good defense. Not letting him jam it home. Gill beats it to the left wing. Carroll inbounds the ball. Auburn is having big problems from beyond the arc. And I think Tracy has something for us on that. Tracy? The head coach wants to see his players move more effectively without the ball so they can get better looks at the basket. He told his guys, if you get to the open spot on the floor, I know you can hit that shot. Vern? Thanks, Tracy. Carroll gets it right side. Back. Off the front of him. They're still down now. Catches it outright. 
Huskin off target from 16 feet. They're still up by nine. Belser swings it to the wing. Top of the key. Dishes it to the wing. No one around him. Yanked down inside by Hoskins. You have to hit that. Hard to imagine if you get a cleaner look. Belser gets the reach in call, and that's foul number two for him. Both teams are making a few lineup changes. Oh, they got to watch their hands, Vern. The next foul puts them over the limit. McBoy inbounds the ball. Huskin dumps it to the paint. And it's picked up by Ole Miss. McCray from long range. Oh, he hits the buzzer beater. He's one for three from downtown. We'll head into the break. The score, 26 to 20. Give us your opinion on the first half, Bill. I can't think of too much good to say about this game so far. Maybe you can do play-by-play -play and color. Now we'll bring you our player of the half. Who's your pick, Bill? Hoskins is my choice, Vern. He was the go-to guy from the first half, and he's been the biggest factor so far in this game. And I wouldn't put it past him to contribute even more in the second half. Tremendous effort from our player of the half. Carroll inbounds it to start the second half. Belser. Hardy gets the rebound. Tracy has a report from their bench. The head coach is definitely aware of that problem. He told his assistants that they have to bring more defenders into the paint, even if it means leaving the perimeter open. Desperate measures here, Vern. All right, Tracy. Carney. Belser dumps it off. Feeds it to the high post. Flash it missed by Carroll. The Tigers still hold a narrow lead. And that's a good job to grab that rebound. Perfect position that time. Gill catches it on the elbow. Knocked loose. And it's gathered up by Carroll. It's one-on-one. McCray. Not a good entry pass. I mean, you just can't force it in there. He's shooting 37% for the game. McClintock.
elbow. Right corner. Huskin from deep. Huskin connects. Ten points, and he leads all in scoring. Skips it to the right side. Belser shoots. Misses the long one. Right around 12 minutes left in the second half. Nice work by the big fella to get that rebound. Carroll inbounds the ball. Bounces it to the left. up his first foul of the game. He can't get the first. He sinks the second. Huskin inbounds the ball. Gill tosses it up court. Burley. Gill dishes to the left wing. Unusually prolific rebounder for an off court. It creates additional opportunities for him and his teammates. Coaches love a guy with an all-around game. Top of the key. Passes to the elbow. Belser. Pull down that offensive board like there's no problem. What a battle. Knocks down the first one. McBride got a quick breather, but they need him back on the floor. Five for nine for the game. Belser dishes it to the right side. Belser. Passes it to the elbow. Carroll pulls the trigger. Can't connect from the wing. Right around nine minutes left in the second half. Harold gets called for blocking, and that's his first foul of the game. When he got there inside, it looked like he was leaning when the contact so occurred. The, the Rebels will bring out some reserves. McBride 
inbounds the ball. Huskin has it. Upright. Victor pulls it down. Victor went after that rebound hard. Great work. Brunson hands it off. Takes a three. Pulled in by McBride. And that's his fourth rebound thus far. Nice work by the big fella to get that rebound. Laid up and in by Burley. They take a six-point lead. There's no question what kind of defense they're in, Vern. Man, man. Gets it outright. Brunson shoots the turnaround. Hits it. But they're still behind by four. Huskin inbounds the ball. Right around eight minutes left into the second half. The Tigers are making substitutions. Leads him in. McBride catches the nice lead pass in stride and hits the layup. Nice look by Burley. Four assists, and he leads his team in that category. Dishes it to the elbow. McBride. Swings it to the wing. Shannon from 18 feet away. And they're out in front by six. Victor catches it. Left wing. Last shot missed from three-point range. Right around seven minutes left in the second half. When a shot like that comes around, you've got to hit it. They just dared him to shoot. Pass to the paint. Takes the shot. The offensive board gathered by Brunson. What an offensive rebound. He's doing work on the glass at both ends. Nice move and paint on the right. Corner. Look at that pass. Let him straight to the hole. Shannon with the shot. Buries the triple. And they now go up by seven. Wise inbounds the ball. Well, let's get back to the action. Both teams are going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. Leads him in. Stone away. Passes it to the left wing. Bannister. Dishes to the wing. Hill has it on the free throw line. The offensive rebound is matched down by Gill. Off target on the last layup. Morris, the bucket is good, and he'll have a chance for one more. A superior effort to fight through the foul and put it down. Strong move. Can't convert the three-point throw. Brunson. Gets it in the paint. Carroll raises up and misses. What was that all about? Just over five minutes left in the second half. I'm not sure his coach is happy with him for putting up that shot. Bannister skips it to the high post. Left wing. Perfect shot by Morrison. They got on this roll a while ago and just haven't looked back.
fast. Morris goes to the Kessel. Stolen by Wise. To put an end to the run. Snatched by Zwicker. Zwicker hands it off. Morrison spins. Teams are making substitutions. Brunson inbounds the ball. They're getting set to inbound the ball. The Rebels are going to make some substitutions. Here's the spin move. Victor catches it. Left wing. That last shot nailed from three point line. What a playmaker this guy is. Great assist. Dumps it inside. Backs in. Burley puts it up. Huskin gets inside and grabs. The offensive rebound. Brunson can't connect after the fadeaway. Just over three minutes left in the second half. Goes up. Got the bucket and the foul. We're going to line for a chance at a three-point play. He needs to make sure he gets a piece of the ball, too. And he's going to foul him that late on an attempt. He can't come away with a three-point play. Leads him with the pass. But it's recovered by Ole Miss. Baseline. Passes it back to the right wing. Last play off the mark by Belser. He'll take the foul. That defender clearly got some contact as he tried to make the shot. Yep, that's an open and shut case. He got mm -hmm. hacked. Makes the first. He's off on the second. They're going to run some clock here with this lead. They want to use all of those 35 seconds if they can. McClintock puts it up. Can't hit the three pointer. They've still got a 12-point lead. Belser dumps it off. McCray gets it right side. Dish, left side, the 15-footer. Huskin wipes the board off the window. The alley-oop. He can't be happy with that miss. With all the room he had, he's got to make that shot. Carroll. Leads him in, and it's picked up by Auburn. The break is on. 
He was trying to thread the needle, Vern. There just wasn't enough space for that pass. Catches it. Far side. That last three point is missed by McClinton. The break is on. He got the look he wanted to there, Bill. I would not want to have too many more of those. He can light you up in a hurry. The Tigers should slow it down and use some thought. He just didn't look comfortable on that shot, Vern, and you can see it in the result. Burley passes it to the left side. Huskins from downtown Huskins nails it. They're ahead, 56 to 41. The quick shot. I bet he wants another try at that shot. It wasn't anyone within a mile of him. Burley. Carroll inbounds the ball. I don't think they can come back. There's too far to climb in too short a time. Dishes to the top of the key. Belser for three. Gill yanks it down inside. The Tigers bring the ball up. They're on a 17th to four run. I love the strength. He fought through the foul, no problem. And that'll give him the three-point chance. Good for the three-point jump. The Tigers will bring in a whole separate platoon into the game. Brunson snatches it down inside. That's another rebound for a team that's doing a great job on the boards. They've got a big edge there today. Throws it up. No goal in the jumper by Shannon. Belser floats it up. And that's the ball game. The Tigers blow out Ole Miss 61-41. to And now it's time to show you our player of the game. Now let's go back to Greg Gumbel with today's version of the Pontiac Game Changing Performance. Thanks Vern, welcome everyone to 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel with today's version of the Pontiac Game Changing Performance. A big momentum swing was a considerable factor in the outcome of this contest. The Auburn Tiger never lost track of their game plan in this contest. This shot started them off on a long run and their opponent never recovered. Okay, thanks Greg. This is Vern Lundquist for Tracy Wilson and Bill Raftery. Glad you were here with us for College Hoops 2K8.